First things first, I've got something only you guys can make possible. Only you guys can do. So, I'm trying to hit 25,000 subscribers by my birthday. And you know why? It's because on my last birthday, I set a reasonable goal, right? Of 500 or 400 subs. And I didn't get it. I was like 10 off and I was devastated. So, now I'm going to try and hit a, a high goal to make up for last year. See... If I hit 25,000 subs, that would mean the actual world to me. You guys don't even understand. And the way you guys can do that is if you're not sub subbed, and if you are sub, share the video, like the video, just interact with it in the comment section. I want you to tell me why you main hammer and your favorite hammer legend. I read and reply to every single comment. So you guys got to make sure to get on it. And now we're going to go through the hammer guide, right? I'm going to try and make it a bit snappy, a bit less waffle than normal. And after that long intro, let's go. Do you like side light, right? Low percent easy true combo right this is your bread and butter at low percent be like sad light and if you land it stacked it doesn't work right if i land it really stacked it doesn't work so that is where the light reverse dare comes in right mm. another amazing option you can go for nair afterwards but these are very important to your hammer neutral game your hammer gameplay right practice these get them down no one you have to do delights dare and no one you have to do that because like. look at this damage guys Against a high defense character, we're going to put a Bodvar on, right? As the bot we're playing against, because Bodvar has five defense, okay? And we're going to look how much damage is done. Look at this. I'm a six attack character right now, right? 26.8 damage. So, as you guys can see, this is a lot of damage, right? And this is how you follow up after. So, dash and light on some characters is true on high deck, but on medium decks, right? Okay? It's about two dodge frames. And... As you can see, I'm trying to get the input perfect, so I've messed it up about five times. But that is what the input looks like. You can get it down to low dodge rooms. But this, right, really, really solid option, okay? This is a very solid option. If they have no dodge, look at the percentage, guys. One dodge frame, look at the percentage, very low. And after do like there, chase dodge up now, right? This is a lot of damage, or jump now is better, right? Jump there is three frames, or two frames right there, and does so much damage. See, these, right, are the two things you guys want to know, right? These are the two low percent combos. And now we're getting into the staple of hammer, right? Which is the light there at late to mid percentage. Now this, okay? When I tell you that this is essential to hammer's kit, I mean that if hammer did not have the light sir, it wouldn't be as good as it is, which I think is one of the best weapons, right? Learn the light sir. It's a kill option. But works almost all the time, right? At high percentages, yeah? And it's amazing. Delight Nair also exists, right? Delight Nair is very doable, also exists. But Delight Sir, look at this, guys. Learn how to do this. Hard input, but when you get it down, I bet I could do 100 Delight Sairs in a row without. This is how much hammer I play, without dropping it once, right? I can do it while I'm talking. And that is your Delight combos. And now we're going to cover the Russian Mafia, right? Look at that. That looks hard. That looks hard, right? I tell you it looks hard. But it's easy. Now we're going to cover how you do it. So, step one. You jump, and then you side chase dodge into recovery. Reverse jump, reverse dare. And it sounds hard, but once you get this down, right? Just get doing this down. Then it becomes easy. The entire combo, jump, and just side chase dodge. And then it becomes easy. It flows so much. Jump, dare. After that, you just input... And then, amazing early kill option, right? It's killing at 120 with like one dodge frame, right? But it's killing at 100 with one dodge frame. If someone has no dodge, look how look at the percentage of this bot now, right? And they're dead. Do you like say I's not even kill him? My sigs, none of my sigs will kill either. That is the power of maybe dancing actually got no, not even dancing. That is the power of the Russian mafia, right? This used to be true, but it isn't only true on really high decks now. So just, but I would still try. It's a very strong combo. And more things, GC. Now, this is a very niche combo that you guys won't hit a lot, but it's very good to know. GC D Light Nair. D Light Nair also works, but I would never go for it. GC D, GC D Light Nair is because sometimes you land GC D Light and your stomp sair will go above them, right? It's very, there you go. It's very weird. But the Nair will always connect. No matter how far away, you can just drift it. Bang. Nair also does 20 damage normally. Or 20.5 damage, right? So, it's chunking people. So, this combo, look at it. That's damage. That's what you like to see. You can also do that. Right, recovery. 
Which, okay, if you're off stage, right, imagine off stage, you land that, and then they're gonna go quite far down. So, they're the hammer D light combos, right? And now, there are, there are a few more, like, niche ones, but you don't really need to them. Like, this is a true combo, but why would you ever go for it? No one knows, right? You could just, you know, just dare. Or you could just sign like. So, another, okay, another really weird comment I'm going to go for is D light, GC D light, nah. Now, if you're looking to be the flash kid, this is a combo you can do, right? GC D, that, okay. It's difficult and requires decks, right? But it's still doable. And then the nair is true afterwards. And then what you can do after nair is go for recovery, right? Which, you know, you've got to admit, hammer is a weapon where you can decide to be flashy or not. And that's what I like, because if you're really looking to win, you can go fundamental. But if you're playing with your opponent, you know, looking to have a bit of fun, you can do stuff like that, and then they get dark red, you know? Now we're going to go over some more strings. As you can see, Sad D-Light. Only at certain decks uh, you can do this, so te go test on your character right now. Sad D-Light, solid combo, right? Worked at early percents. Sad N-Light works at all percents, right? No, all percents works at all decks, right? Good, good, solid combo. Go for this combo more. It's just very good. Now recovery, right, is also... It's very strange, right? Oh, my God. Now recovery. It's it's a very strange little string. It doesn't... You never think... Oh, you never think now recovery on a weapon like Camo would ever work. But it can combo at certain decks, which is crazy. Because, again, you can do this. Like, wait, let me, uh, let me set the bot down, right? BCD, like, nah, recovery, right? And then you can get, like, really long, flashy hammer comments, right? Which are very possible, you know? It's hammer. You guys got to know how to mix it up a bit with case dodges, and, uh, that's why hammer's so good, because it's, it's like a hybrid weapon. As you can see, its ground attacks are very fast, and light is one of the most fastest moves in the game. That lights quick. D lights quick. But then the he then you have heavy big swings, you know, out of these moves. And that's what makes it really fun because you can go for these like weird, you know, switching to unarmed for a bit after a weapon throw combo. You can do like a lot on him. And now I've covered a lot of the main combos. So we're going to go over some really solid strings, right? And light, dash side light is true for no reason, guys. Like, why is it true? You know, you know, I would need like someone, like someone needs to tell me. It's true apparently though, and it works. And then after it, after what you, after it, you can dash D light, right? And on on high dex characters, super low god frame, but for mod it's four. And then you can get the true combos of D light, right? It's just how hammer works, right? You can just also, if they're a bit high percent, it's not true, right? But right, side light D light is a good string. N light dash side light is a good if they are like not white it's not true but like you know that it still catches a lot right and right now i've showed you many of the important true combos on hammer so now i'm going to show you some more like more things that will just land they'll just work right reverse a dare yeah. this is weird because the hitbox for reverse dare goes that far Right, look, like, uh, like it, it looks like it doesn't hit, but it hits all the way out here, which is very far. And then it like drags you back in. Like, look, you see, you, you kind of get safe. So you drift away from them and then drift back in. And as you can see, it kind of like a scooping motion and it catches a lot further than it should. And if you get this down, you hold down the entire time, just so you know the input, then you dash jump and then hold the opposite direction. It's quite easy. And then now this is something that, this this is something that catches me all the time when I'm playing against Hammer, right? Okay? And that's this. You hold down, wait till you fast forward, then do reverse there. Now look at the hitboxing, right? You catch there, and then you also catch on the wall. So you end up catching, like, such a large surface area. And this can be very strong. It does hit them up, and if you do it perfectly, you can catch... Yeah, this is... Some, look. On the wall from there, up all the way to there, you catch... So that's something that you can use. It does hit up, so it's not going to be the best for gimping, but it's doable. Also, grounded nair, dash jump grounded nair, is like a force field. I'm just telling you things you can do as your approach options now. 
this is like if they're in the air like look at this here box it's like a it's like a massive false field right it's above you if they're jumping you can just do this and kind of be safe and hammer is one of the best weapons at juggling nair hits up if they're below you dare hits up you can kind of just juggle them forever right they get below you and uh you just dare them so stack so kill options we like there right but a fun fact except for side light every hammer move kills right D-Light obviously doesn't kill, right? But it true comes to Sair, so it does kill. D-Light also comes into there, which kills. So every hammer move kills. Ground pound kills off stage, obviously. Recovery kills off stage, obviously, right? Nair at late percentage. We we'll just have to set them up quite, like, quite dark, right? End light kills, okay? Eventually, at 190 cent. But yeah, okay. It's killing, right? D-Light Sair obviously kills. Sair obviously kills. Nair obviously kills. Yeah, it kills. So finding a kill on hammer is really easy. Just throw out most of your moves. And that is what makes hammer so strong. Right? Hammer is a great weapon. I recommend meaning. Now, weapon throw combos. Now, this is one of the fun things you can do. Really cool things you can do on hammer, right? Is is this. I'll make it, I'll show you. It's, so you throw the weapon diagonally down. Dash D light. Oh. Not working for me. The game doesn't want to uh allow me to do this comp. Wait, why is this not working? Sorry. Okay, I messed up. Oh. Well, it's different on hammer to a lot of the other weapons because the hitbox is weird. But sometimes, I'll show you on sword, you can do diagonal down throw D light, right? Okay. And and you can do that on hammer, but it doesn't work a lot of the time. So, unless you dash into it. So, if you dash into it, and it, this is one dodge frame, right? But what you can do is a GC D light into Sair. Or, then you see that was 39 and 39 damage, right? I think I need to dash on hammer. But you can also do recovery, which is also a lot of damage. And if you really want to get fancy for the most damage, right? This is the combo you want to do. Diagonally down weapon throw, D-Light, D-Light Nair, and recovery for one dodge frame if you do it perfectly. Right? Oh, it's hard. But that is the weapon throw combo you want to use, right? very solid very solid weapon hammer is insane and you can juggle people a lot remember use dare nair to juggle a lot like dare gets them off the ground nair keeps them off the ground use chase dodges a lot on this weapon if you land a delight set early percent and non-killing one of the things you can do to very great effect is diagonally chase dodge down at the stage right and this is something that I do a lot at lower percentages when I just for some reason D like Sair here. And then you can get another D like Sair or you can get Silo or something. But that chase dodge puts you in a, in a range where you can follow up, you know? And remember, right? Do not be afraid to go off stage with Hammer, right? Let's get the bot off the stage, right? It's annoying because it's a bot, but in a real game, right? Okay, let's just say Hammer. Recovery, ground pound, kills so early it's disgusting right like look at this look at the health right recovery into ground pound kills so so early and it hits people up to the highest of levels right recovery is the switcheroo and this is what makes hammer so scary because right one thing i'm going to teach you is hammer recovers behind it you see right it's already above it's just a bit behind so when you're coming back to stage you can reverse the recovery and now the hitbox is looking a bit more scary now it's looking more scary to edge guard you look because that hitbox is in front of you and how you do that is you just hold the opposite direct you just hold forward and then hold the opposite direction after press it afterwards and recover hold up the entire time right well at least i do to get the input right i don't think you don't actually have to hold up wait yeah you go and you can reverse it and that makes this is the biggest tip you can get on hammer that makes trying to edge guard you a lot more scary because you could just reverse them like they could just like look jumping let's we're gonna set the bots to jump and i'm gonna show you right they can just die trying to edge guard you and obviously they're on stage and it's not a real person but yeah they do that and then you recovery ground pad them and then the game is fully turned around you went from having disadvantage to now having advantage and remember hammer Look at this hitboxing. It has a handle hitbox, so don't be afraid to just ground pound. Ground pound is great. 
And it's especially scary because if they try and edge guard you, you have a massive recovery, like, disjoint. So it, it becomes really difficult. So I hope you guys have learned something. I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to hit that, like, 25k for my birthday, right? And it's going to be a very difficult thing for me to do. But it is going to be doable with the help of you guys. I hope you enjoyed this hammer guide. Make sure get playing hammer. Hammer's really fun, right? And it is at the current point. I'm not sure what they've done to it if they've nerfed it. But at the current point, it's very, very, very strong and just fun. Make sure to mix up your hammer. Don't be one of the kids who only uses Sir. You know, go for these wacky cool options because remember, guys, Brawlhalla is about having fun, right? And unless you're, earning a mon unless you're earning money like a pro player, you want to have the most fun. And if that does come by winning and not going for, like, cool stuff, because I guess it's different for everyone, right? Then do it. But if you want to hit the clips, go for the clips, even in ranks. There's no uh, reason not to. Make sure to sub to my channel to, for more just gameplay in general. I try and get a daily upload out. I probably will upload about, you know, if there's a month of 30 days, I might miss four days in total. So, uh... I hope to see you guys in the future. Uh, yeah. Peace. Peace out, guys. I uh, hope you learned something. Please sub, comment, interact. You know, I'm trying to hit that mark, like, really badly now.